This is a video about how staff can see what student lessons look like in Edgenuity. So I'm going to start by logging in as a staff member. I go to any of the school web pages, staff tab, alphabetical list. And I'm going to scroll down to the second section. This is kind of the student applications. If I scroll down to the staff applications and choose Edgenuity grade 6 through 12, it takes me to this login. I go ahead and sign in. It's going to take me to a screen that looks like this. So the first thing I can do is I can look at a course structure. So let's go to Courses, Manage Courses. I choose a course that I'm interested in. I come over to More and View Course Structure. It will give me links to all of the different lessons and the components with, within each lesson. So if I scroll down a little bit and I come to this instruction, in this lesson here, I can click on it. It will actually take me to the lesson. I can play it here. I can move through it as quickly as I want to. And that is how I would view the actual lesson. That's one way to do it. Let's go back, click on here, and come back here again. The other way to do it is to assign the course to myself and then log in as me as a student. So to do that, you come up to students manage students select my account right here okay so now i'm in my account and now i can come over here to add a course i can choose the course i want to assign myself say it's this one right here scroll down add the course and submit okay so i've assigned that course to myself now i need to log in as a student let's go back to one of the Web pages for the district, staff, alphabetical list. This time I'm going to choose the link from the top section here, the student section. So if I come down to Edgenuity 6 through 12, it automatically logs me in because I'm logged in already. And this is the look that students get. So if I wanted to take this course right here, I just assign myself, I go ahead and click like I'm a student. And I have no um, activity yet, but I can do click here and I can actually go ahead and go through the course as a student even though I'm logged in as a teacher. So my credentials allow me to log in to um, the student the student view so to speak and I can go ahead and go through it like so if I want to play this video. Okay so that is how you get a closer look at the actual lessons as a staff member.